63, 2016. This is uh, Mr. Chetanji Gunapure, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Now, this is the learning outcome for the student. At the end of this session, student will be able to describe the design spectrum of IIT 93, 2016. Now, let us see what is the earthquake design earthquake specification. So, what is the earthquake which is considered in the code? That code earthquake is defined using two parameters. Most important is the peak acceleration. Even we can see peak ground acceleration, that is Z, which is specified in the code. Second is the frequency content. That code earthquake is defined by using these two parameters. So, IS code specifies different peak ground accelerations based on the seismic zone. Our country is divided into four zones. So, the seismic zone map of India is shown in 1893. So, Z, uh, these are the zones 2, 3, 4, 5. Zone 1 was there, but it was now removed from the IS revision and uh, the directly it started from zone 2 and these are the z factor zone factors for these four uh, uh, zones okay now solapur our solapur city belongs to zone 3 so zone factor for solapur city is 0.16 now my question for all of you students because uh, most important thing that we are going to discuss here uh, about the design earthquake my question is for you that which parameters are used to define code earthquake? We are talking about the code earthquake. So, first you think of that while defining the code earthquake, what is considered? A, B options are given, C option is also given, D option is also given. So, what is the, which are the parameters that are, these are considered to define the code earthquake? You pause the video, just uh, uh, think of that and give the answer. The answer is C that is the peak acceleration and frequency content. Both these two parameters are used to define the code earthquake. Okay, now let us see this design spectra. This design spectra is explained in the, our 1893 and for equivalent static uh, method, the design spectra is given. In earlier code 1893-2002, only one spectra was given that was this design spectra. Now, it is also there but for equivalent static method. Okay. But that I am discussing first. Now, this response spectra specifies frequency content of the earthquake forces. Second, that the response spectra is specified as spectral acceleration versus time period. What is this plot? Spectra means the plot or graph. That plot is having the response quantity of acceleration on y axis, SA by G that is on y axis, and on x axis time period of the building that is in uh, second. So, uh, we have to find out the time period of our building and that uh, uh, based on that time period we will get the spectral acceleration coefficient on y axis. So, this is design spectra. So, initially there is a uh, linear line is there then the constant line which is having highest uh, value of SA by J and then the curve is there and it is constantly reducing. Now, let us see the zones of this response spectra. First zone is this much the 0 to T1. This zone in which the SA by G is proportional to T. Second zone T1 to T2, it is constant which is having higher, highest uh, level of uh, SA by G. Third is then it is proportional, this portion after T2, this po portion is proportional to inverse of T or 1 by T. So, as uh, T will increase after T2, your uh, SA by G will reduce the meaning of this uh, diagram. And for this zone, after T3, this zone is constant. So, it is remaining as it is. As T is increasing, your SA by G, that will remain same for after T3. Okay, now this design spectra, the portion of the response spectra are proportional or governed by first ground acceleration. This portion means 2.5, which is very highest value of SA by G, this portion is governed by the ground acceleration. Next, velocity. This portion means after this uh, block or this constant line, this parabolic profile, this pro parabolic profile that is governed by the velocity of uh, uh, parameter of the earthquake shaking or earthquake vibration. Fourth, displacement. Now, after T3 means the constant portion that is governed by the displacement of uh, the, uh, the shaking. Okay, so 
these portions, how these are proportional are uh, governed by the motion parameter that is explained in this diagram. Now, code earthquake specifications. Design earthquake, that design earthquake means the design spectra. It is obtained from the product of design spectra and peak acceleration. So, design earthquake, how we are ensuring, how we are uh, determining. That is the, from the product of design spectra and peak acceleration. Okay. So, SA by G, that is the design spectra or value from the design spectra. Peak acceleration is Z. So, Z in SA by G, that is gives you designed earthquake. So, whenever we are taking SA by G from the response spectrum, sorry, and uh, if you multiply by the peak acceleration, so that is design earthquake. Next is code design spectra is further modified to account for building importance factor I and ductility of a structural system R. We are, if you incorporate I and R in, in this uh, calculation, then whatever earthquake that we are uh, determining or modifying that is called as code design spectra. SA by G, the response spectra multiplied by Z that will give design earthquake and then if you incorporate I by R that gives you code design spectra. Okay. Different values or suggestions are given regarding why I is taken, how it is it is in between A to 1 to 1.5, R is in between 1 to 5, then their ratio, all those things. Are. But most important formulation that is explained here. Now, let us see the actual theme in this design spectra. Why I have taken this discussion for you. There are three records, actual earthquake records. So, this blue line Northridge earthquake in 1994, this record is shown here. On y axis SAYG or on x axis time period is there. Now, this uh, green line that is Alt Centro earthquake, this is the record of Alt Centro earthquake. How much randomness is there that you can see? Next thing is the rock spectra. So, rock spectra, I think this, uh, this uh, line, and it is light blue. So, this line is rock spectra, spectra for the uh, from the different records. And next is your design rock spectra, R is equal to 5. So, design spectra is here, actual earthquakes are having this values or this record. If you observe that design spectra is much lower than actual spectra or actual earthquakes, real earthquakes may have much higher response spectra ordinates than our design spectrum. So, this uh, actually I have discussed uh, in the design philosophy uh, why these types of spectra are made. Okay. Now, the randomness that was removed, smooth response spectrum is prepared for uh, use. So, this is the actual profile. So, actual earthquake is at this level, blue line. Okay. Next is, this is our code spectra. Code spectra means the response spectrum, we are, spectra which we are using for SAYG. After that, we are multiplying by the several factors i, uh, r and z by 2, all those things are winning. Then the, it is going at this level. So, design spectra is at this level, actual earthquake is at this level. So, there is a difference of in between the actual earthquake and design earthquake. So, okay. so this plot, plot explains you that we are designing our uh, building structures for this level, wherein this is actual earthquake. Oh, what, why uh, that, uh, uh, what is the difference or why this design spectra is uh, prepared, which is very, having large difference between the actual earthquake and this design spectra. Okay, the reasons are given here. Use of much lower design spectra has been adopted based on several reasons. Following are the reasons. Why lower design spectra has been adopted? What is the reason? behind that. Design earthquake has very low probability during life of the structure. Okay. So, the, our the RCC structures are having life actually, actually it was uh, uh, 80 years. So, 60 to 80 years that life we are, uh, we are considering and the, whatever design earthquake uh, we are considering it is having very low probability during its life of structure. Design wind has written period of 100 years versus 475 years for earthquake. So, 
in case of wind load analysis the probability is of 100 years return period but in earthquake case even for design earthquake it is 475 years so in 475 years it may return for well, which 475 that is not also clear next is the structural system have redundancy and additional margins we our structures have redundancy and the additional margins over strength is also there structural materials have additional margins means over strength of the material means concrete and steel the full strength of the concrete and steel we are not taking structural members can sustain few cycles of inelastic deformation if designed as ductile members these are the reasons for which we are going for design spectra than actual spectra okay so, so in rcc members uh, here partial safety factor is 1.5 and for, for fck this is the stress strain curve of uh, rcc member for concrete and uh, 1.5 is the partial safety factor so it has become 0.67 so we are reducing the uh, the, uh, the strength of that uh, material uh, the strength of that section and this is for steel partial safety factor for steel is 1.15 so if so if why that we are not taking we are taking 0.87 FY. So the material strength we are taking at reduced level by partial safety factor. Those uh, strengths or margins are with us. So now this is the margin in RCC members, especially for the concrete material. Characteristic strength of the concrete that is considered when 5% uh, cubes results only are allowed to fall below the grade of concrete. Grade of concrete, how it is established, 95% of results are above the grade not equal to grade above grade then that uh, above grade or 95 percent results are there means there is over strength in the concrete available for the concrete material these are the references for uh, this session thank you